Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at the gamma distribution. So here we have a worked example. Suppose that T is the work, useful working lifetime in years of a brand new industrial machine. The following is the probability density function of T. So here we have F of T, small f, and that is 1 over 24 times 1 over 5 to the power of 5 times T to the power of 4 times the, the exponential of minus 1 over 5 times T, where t is greater than zero. A manufacturing plant has just purchased the new machine. Determine the probability that the machine will be in operation for the next 20 years. That is to say, calculate the probability of t being greater than or equal to 20. Okay? Now what we have here below is the probability density function of the gamma distribution. Okay? Now, I'm going to be a little bit awkward here, and you might sort of spot why. Okay, so typically I actually might have them in reverse if you might look at these, some of the other videos. I'm sort of giving the game away there. But essentially what we have here is two parameters, alpha and beta. And what we want to do is match them up to what we have above there and see does it, are they consistent. Later on we'll talk about what alpha and beta are. And again, don't jump to conclusions because this is something you should learn about the probability distributions, the notation is not consistent, okay? So anyway, let's look at what we have here. So let's look at this part here, the exponential of minus one over five times t. Here we have the exponential of minus alpha times x. What I could do here actually is just actually re-express all of this in terms of t, just turn it into a function of t just make it a little bit easier for ourselves because again I am going to be awkward about other things so necessarily alpha should be 1 over 5 now we have to check through the whole thing but so far so good t to the power of beta minus 1 where here we have t to the power of 4 so necessarily that would suggest that beta equals 5 okay so we here we have alpha to the power of beta so 1 over 5 to the power of 5 that is consistent to what we have there before and the gamma function of 5 is 4 factorial. And that's one over that's 24. So we this would work out to be 1 over 24. So it is consistent. So we're going to use formulate this with alpha equal 1 over 5 and beta equal 5. Okay. Now typically we would den denominate the probability distribution of the gamma distribution, we would parameterize it using shape parameters, scale parameters, or rate parameters. I won't go into that yet. But anyway, just suffice to say that the numbers alpha and beta, both positives, are fixed constants and parameters of the distribution. Uh, there's a couple of other things there that are sort of generic about the gamma distribution. I won't really get into what they are yet. So this is an important set of definitions with regard to the gamma distribution. The random variable t follows a gamma distribution with shape parameter n and rate parameter lambda. The survival function, the cumulative distribution function, and the density function are given as follows. Now, just for the sake of brevity, what we look at specifically is the survival function. And because t is a continuous random variable we can you know just put greater than or equal to in there okay so that is the summation of from k equal to zero to n minus one of the exponential of minus lambda t times lambda t to the power of k over k factorial okay so it's a summation of several terms now the other ones we'll leave for another time because i'll sort of feature them in different videos now, the random variable Tn has a gamma distribution with shape parameter n and rate parameter alpha. So what we have to know is which of alpha and beta correspond to n and lambda. Now, here in this particular case, beta will be equal to n. That's the shape parameter and the rate parameter lambda we will get from our value of alpha. Okay. Now, I sort of was deliberately mixed them up because conventionally you might put the shape parameter as alpha and the scale parameter as beta. Okay, and I deliberately didn't make, uh, make too much of noise about that. Essentially, the key tell is 
that we have 1 over the gamma function of beta here. So that would correspond to the shape parameter. Okay, what that gamma function there, that 1 over the gamma function. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So from now on, n equal to 5 and lambda equal to 1 over 5. Okay, so our shape parameter n equals 5 and our rate parameter equals 5, 1 over 5. Okay, so the key thing here is, yeah, there we have it there. So we're dealing with a 20 minute lifespan or 20 year lifespan. So t equals 20 and lambda t is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so we're going to sort of set this up here. Okay, and Lambda is equal to 1 over 5, t is 20 years, so lambda t is equal to 4. We can actually just work that out. That is the exponential of minus lambda t times the exponential of minus 4. That is 0 0.01831. So we're going to sort of save that for later. Okay. Uh, this part here. And what we're going to do is work out these fractions here. Add them all up. This is constant in terms of the summation, so we can actually just take it out, but the, the, the fractions have to be worked out. So here we have them there. So n is equal to five, and that means we're summing from zero all the way up to n minus one, which is four, okay? Uh, lambda times t is four, so we have four the whole way through here, okay? And k is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 4 to the power of 0 over 0 factorial, plus 4 to the power of 1 over 1 factorial, plus 4 to the power of 2 over 2 factorial, plus 4 to the power of 3 over 3 factorial, plus 4 to the power of 4 over 4 factorial. So that's a bit of number crunch in there, but what you should get is 103 divided by 3. Okay? So just piece it all together now. The probability of t greater than or equal to 20 is 100, 103 divided by 3 times e to the minus 4. Bit of calculator work, and that should work out to be 0 0.6288. 62.88% essentially. Okay? So that's it. That is the gamma distribution.